opening this from here in Rwanda. My name is Barul. Um, I'm based in San Jose. My name is Sila Maya. I'm from Bamako. Hello, my name is Ciela Jerse. I'm from Mexico City. Hi, my name is Mira. I'm talking to you from Gaza City. I mean, being an artist, um, you know, it's really hard um, to keep up with all the gigs and all the freelance work that we do, and uh, it's been hitting home. It's, it's kind of just, just really, really hard emotionally um, and uh, economically, financially, uh, every which way. We're just trying to like be hopeful and stay safe. I personally felt it like everyone else is affected everywhere around the world. It's, uh, it's affecting me uh, professionally, economically, socially, and even emotionally. Uh, professionally, I'm active, which means I'm not getting no income. And I guess that makes one worry that if this goes on for long, one can work for life. I'm a freelancer, my friends are also freelancers. And, uh, well, I mean, this situation is really difficult for us economically. And I have the support of my family. But what about the other people? Yeah, the effect that uh, the COVID-19 had in my life is stopped my activity because of I just got a new job that I really love and that got stopped. I got a severe respiratory problem. I got asthma, I'm pre-diabetic, so I kind of worry about that. But mainly I worry mostly about my family, that's who. My main concern is my family, my mother, uh, everybody that I love, my brothers and sisters, everybody in my family. What I'm really worried about, I'm wor I was worried about getting a cases here in Mali because of the cases that uh, when we get more cases, I think that it will be a big mess for us as we are living in the community, people are doing the same thing and more than 20 people are living in the same house. And that's the most the thing that I'm really worried about because that we can get more deaf than Italy, actually. The truth is that, for example, we don't have any more masks. We don't have hand sanitizer. Uh, it's really difficult to find them. And if you find those those things, they are going to be really expensive. Well. Um... As a third world country, we are very, very worried that this would result into uh, uh, many other issues and this would maybe uh, switch the focus you know, of fighting this virus to uh, fighting some of the issues like anger, death, uh, mental health issues and all that. But in life, we really have no uh, choice but to really hope. I've been worried a lot about the situation, if it's going to improve, uh, how it's going to affect everyone's life, what are going to be the long-term repercussions to our economy, to people in general. I do some reading to, for fun and watching videos like comedy, like, I, I, what I like actually. Well, to cope with this, I am um, uh, trying to support almost every day. I have enrolled in some online free uh, courses. I'm taking families, friends around the world, and I'm watching a lot of movies. Catching up on the shows and Netflix that I, you know I just didn't have time to indulging in hobbies. I paint, um, you know, so I've been just like painting a little bit, as you can see. I'm playing with you. You have to find a way to learn the new stuff. Maybe start reading books going online and engaged in different courses. Try to create your own business or to learn how to create your own business. Maybe drawing on walls. Maybe play, playing with your kids, with your pets also. The message that I'm sending to others is just to not panic to get more help. We need to be more humble. We need to help people. We need to stop complaining. Just stay at home. Try to do things that you can do by yourself. Be safe. 
we will pass it together. I think this is just an ultimate test of humanity coming together. So I, what I'm most hopeful about is uh, humanity just coming together and finally living as one without barriers and discrimination and racism. I guess this is the time we should come together as one um, and forget everything that separates us, that divides us and see ourselves as uh, an extended family and realize that if everyone plays their own part then we can overcome this pandemic. Um, we can do so by listening to the government and do whatever we're asked to do and follow the um, uh, uh, the advices of uh, World Health Organization. So I hope, I believe we're going to get out of this all together. Uh, stay strong, stay healthy and um, uh, happy quarantine. Bye from Kigali.